Hey all, this is Keith with the Common Sense Practical Prepper Podcast with your one-minute survival tip for June 20th, 2024. Actually, this will probably be over a minute, so please bear with me. I try to not talk about politics when it comes to prepping. However, prepping is directly tied to current events, and current events is directly tied to politics. So, with that said... I think it is very important, and I firmly believe, in my opinion, that there is going to be some type of event to either distract folks from the upcoming election or something that will potentially put a wrench in the gears of the election going forward. Certainly not suggesting the election is not going to happen, but I think there's going to be some interference somewhere to somehow disrupt things. Because what we're supposed to believe now and what the mainstream media is telling us now is that we're not supposed to believe the videos that we're seeing of the current president stuttering, tripping, falling, freezing, whatever you want to call it. All of a sudden, we're being told those are deep fake videos. A lot of political pundits, mainstream media pundits, are saying that they are in fear that if the previous administration comes back into power and wins the election, that they are going to be placed in prison. So think about that for a second. The current administration, in my opinion, is weaponizing the DOJ, and it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to find Peter Navarro and other of these people, Rudy Giuliani, Steve Bannon, all these people that are being indicted and put in jail for disputing the returns from the 2020 election. So Here is direct evidence that this is happening, but now these political pundits are afraid that somehow the previous administration is going to put them in jail for exercising their First Amendment rights. In my opinion, this is all a distraction. And a lot of people out there that are in tune to what's going on, you're smart. You're smart people. You know what your eyes see. You know what your ears hear. And you're able to form an educated opinion on what is going on. So when we have rallies, the previous president does these rallies for 40, 50, 60, 70, 80,000 people show up and there is no active campaigning with the current president. I think the folks on the left, especially the folks in the, that, that pull the levers of power in Washington, I've always wanted to say it, pull the levers of power in Washington. I think, I think they're scared and I think they're being, I think they're very concerned. So I think there are a lot of distractions. Hey, you know, look at the shiny thing over here. Let's not pay attention to the rallies. Let's make up a bunch of stuff. Let's try to gin up a lot of fear to get people really nervous um, about the upcoming election. So I firmly believe there's going to be something now. Is it are we are we drug into World War three? Is there a cyber attack? Is there another pandemic? I have no idea. But with all the illegal immigrants, all the, the, the folks coming across the border, Chinese nationals, folks from the Middle East, military age males, there's no way that something is not in the work somewhere to distract or perhaps interrupt or interfere with the upcoming election season. With that said, this is my advice. This is my opinion. It's more than past time to circle the wagons to get your preps, and I keep preaching this, if you haven't done something by now, I honestly think it's probably too late, but don't let that deter you. Just do something. Just do something. I use my preps as a hedge against inflation, okay? I'm not waiting for the zombie apocalypse. I don't think society is necessarily going to decay to the point where there's bands of uh, people roving the streets, you know, stealing people's food and breaking in people's homes. But I think... You need to, again, circle your wagons. If you have a, a group of friends, you need to that, that also prep or don't. You need to educate them and just have things at the ready in case something happens. Don't be left out in the cold. As I say that, it's going to be 100 degrees here in central Virginia. Don't be left out in the cold if something happens. If nothing happens, guess what? You've got, I don't know, six cases of water and 200 pounds of beans and rice in your pantry. And, you know, you're going to eat beans and rice for the next uh, the next 20 years. But at least you've got the peace of mind uh, that something uh, that you've, you've, you're prepared for something. And for the folks that listen, I have folks that listen from all around the world. Sweden, Norway, a lot of folks in the Middle East, Great Britain, Australia. Hey, folks down under, 
I don't know how this is going to affect you. If I don't think directly, but it'll certainly affect the world stage indirectly. The rip, there's going to be you know ripple effects. If there's a significant event, what do they call it? A black swan or a red flag or red herring? I don't know. Whatever phrase you want to use. If it's significant enough here in the United States, there's going to be a ripple effect across the world. So how that manifests itself, I have absolutely no idea. But for my peace of mind, I'm going to be ramping up my preps, checking out my pantry and seeing if there's anything else I need to do to kind of round things out as summer starts very, I think what, today or tomorrow summer starts and then summer drags on and then and then further into the election season. All right, folks, this has been your one minute 15 minute survival tip for June 20th, 24. Everybody have a good weekend. Thanks.